So uh, first of all, I'm glad to be joined by a friend and someone who um, continues to fight hard for everyday New Yorkers, Julie Menon. She is now taking on the role of director of the New York City Census 2020, one of the most important things we have to do in the state of New York. And so, Julie, thank you for joining me for a couple of questions. I cannot wait to have this conversation with you. Thank you, Senator, for having me. Great, great. So, Julie, let's start with the first issue, which is the deadline for the census. You know, I was under the impression that we had until the end of October. Um, I know at one point we were talking about the end of November, giving people more time to fill out the census. Uh, you know, where are we? What's going on? And what are you doing to make sure that New York City is counted? Well, right now, the new deadline is September 30th. And this is an unconscionable deadline because basically we had been given to the end of October to respond to the census in large part because of COVID. New York City is the epicenter of COVID and we needed that additional time. Then a couple weeks ago, President Trump announced that he was going to cut the census short by one month. And let's be clear, Senator, what this is really about. It's about undercounting immigrant communities and communities of color, because those are largely the communities that have lower response rates. And so basically, this is an attempt all across the country to underfund cities and to move that funding and representation to red Republican districts all across the country. And we're not going to be played. We're not going to be fooled by that. We're going to make sure that every New Yorker is counted. So, so let's dig into that. How is New York City doing right now? Like, you know, uh, is it following traditional numbers? Are there, are there differences, things that we should be concerned about, things we should be proud of? Talk to us about what you're seeing on the ground. Absolutely. So right now, the New York City response rate is 57.4%. It's significantly above many other cities across the country. But with that said, we still have a long way to go. And we honestly needed that extra time that President Trump has never cut short. We are seven points behind the national average. Just to put it into context, in 2010, we were 14 points behind the national average. So we've cut the gap between the city's self-response rate and the country's in half. That's the good news. There's also good news for your district in particular. Your district has higher response rates than the city, on average around 61%. So that's the good news. But with that said, we still need to get every New Yorker to take the 10 minutes it takes to answer these 10 questions. So um, let's go back to this lawsuit that I'm hearing about uh, from, I think the Urban League is doing a lawsuit and there, there's some others who are trying to stop um, President Trump from having the September 30th deadline. Like what's the status of that? Is that even real or is that, uh, uh, just give us a sense of what we can expect with, this, with the lawsuit sure. and the time of different lawsuits across the country to try to extend the deadline. There's also a lawsuit that, and I work for uh, Corporation Council, that we have brought challenging Trump's presidential memo from last month, where he signed a presidential memo that would basically not count the undocumented for congressional apportionment. So we're in court on that right now. So there are a series of lawsuits, but look, we're four weeks away from this arbitrary deadline that he has mm -hmm. set. So I don't want anyone to be misled by that. We need every New Yorker to go to my2020census.gov and fill the census out. It's the single best way to stand up to President Trump and to make sure that everybody gets the resources and the political representation that we frankly deserve. So thanks for saying that, Julie, because one of the things that I've been hearing sort of uh, as people have been talking about this because of COVID-19, you know, there are parts of, of Manhattan, particularly the Upper East Side and other places where we're hearing that people have, have left the city or have at least left um, uh, uh, Manhattan and uh, either are not filling out the census or doing something else. Can you talk a little bit about how much of you seeing that across the city and what should people do if either A, they, they, they sort of left where their normal location is and either have filled out the census someplace else or haven't, just walk us through some of the complications that you're sure. trying to deal with with that. So the Manhattan numbers are actually pulling the citywide number down and that is really mm. fortunate. We have a situation where many people left New York City temporarily because of COVID and either done one of two, either they didn't fill the census out at all, which is unconscionable, 
or they filled it out from their temporary location incorrectly. Now, in both of these situations, there's an easy fix. If they filled it out from a temporary location, we need them to go online to my2020census.gov and refill it out using your New York City address, and then the U.S. Census Bureau takes out the duplicate. If they didn't fill it out at all, go online and fill it out. Uh, we can't have a situation where literally thousands and thousands of New Yorkers simply are not doing their civic duty and filling the census out and really hurting New York City in its greatest time of need. Wow. So last question for you, Julie. Um, you know, if I'm a church or I'm a community organization, I have not been involved, uh, but I think I can be helpful. You know, what's the best solution? Like, what do you recommend uh, uh, they do to, to, to do more than just necessarily filling out the census themselves? Well, we'd love to talk to them. Look, we have a whole field operation happening every single day. We phone bank over 1.2 million New Yorkers. We've done text messages to 7 million New Yorkers. We love to have help from anyone who's not been involved in the census. We have a whole volunteer operation going on. So please reach out to us. We would love to work with them if they haven't been involved before. And what's the best way for them to reach out? Should they go to your email? Should they call a phone number? What's the, what's the mechanism for that? The best way, we have a whole website at nyc.gov slash and they, there are all sorts of volunteer operations on that and volunteer opportunities. Uh, can you repeat that, nyc.gov? nyc.gov backslash census. Perfect, perfect. Well, we've been joined by Julie Menon, director of the New York City Census 2020. She's got a lot of great work to do. Uh, we believe in her and we believe in the, in the job that's being done. So thank you, Julie, for what you're doing for New York City. Um, and thank you for continuously fighting to make sure that all New Yorkers get the representation and the service that they deserve. Thank you so much, Senator. We so appreciate all your help on the census. Thank you so much. Thanks.